back to the Cabbage Patch. I'm Dad. I'm Tommy. I'm Max. What do we do today? We play Taco versus Burrito. Taco versus Burrito. Okay. You can see right below us. That's right. And this is a card game. That's really fast, right? I don't think that took more than about 15 minutes to play. Uh, and it is about assembling the taco or burrito with the highest points. And or how do you do that? Uh, well, that's exactly right. So how do you do that, Tommy? How do you get that taco or burrito? You draw cards, which are all, all usually three fancy. Sometimes you just get to the three. So that, for instance, is my taco, which has a lollipop, a human burger, mm -hmm. a bowl of lice, hot yogurt, and some fresh brains in it. Hot yogurt would be fun. But then and, it's and also it's got some boiling kombucha. And a tummy ache. So, what are the tummy aches doing? They remove points. They remove points. So, at the end of the game, when it, when one person runs out of cards in their hand, the game is over and you score your meal. Uh, there's a number of special abilities that we that, that happen during the game. Uh, you can have the Crafty Crow, which takes one card from another player's meal and puts it into your meal. You can have the Food Fight, where players turn over the top card, right, and see who wins, and whoever's got the highest point uh, food ingredient wins. You can get the health inspector, which we, Gus and I, both screwed up, because you're supposed to do this as soon as you draw it. You're supposed to play it immediately, right? Which removes, which removes everything in your meal, and you have to start over. Uh, there's something called the trash panda, which lets you go into the discard pile and find a card that you want and put it into your hand. And I think that's, oh, and then there's, last but not least, there's No Bueno, which means it's, it's, if you have it, you can play it to prevent the other player from doing whatever it is they were doing. Basically, a note from Exploding Kittens. That's exactly right. It's a note from Exploding Kittens. Oh, and I'm sorry, there is one more. And then the one that won me the game, because Tommy played it, and I'm not sure that we, we're going to have to look that up. I'm not sure if it's actually you have to play it. You may not have to play action cards. Um is order envy, which means you can switch seats with another player and get their high-scoring meal. Um, there's a, The extra ingredients are things like hot sauce, which double your score, and then all sorts of really creepy, icky, awful, terrible things that you would never want to actually put in a real taco. And that's it. Apparently this was created by a seven-year-old kid. It's uh, It comes with these little card holders, right, that are tacos or burritos, and you play your ingredient cards into the card holder and you play till you run out of cards and when you run out of cards you score it and then you're done right what'd you like about it thomas well i probably like the fact that it's didn't have any dislikes no dislikes it's fun it's fast it's creepy and cool yeah i didn't, yeah. I didn't find any places particularly noteworthy that i Besides yeah. Basically, just have a card. Yeah. Is that what you dislike? You didn't find anything to dislike. What did you like about it? Art. The art. And yeah. The card equals good. Card equals good. How about you, Gus? Art. Art. What did you not like about it? Anything? Uh, you like that? It's a good game. I almost said something. Really <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, don't say anything very bad. All right. Well, that's it. I mean, I, I like the art. I think it's a it's a fun, fast game. Uh, we wanted to play it so that I could test the new camera out so that we could, because we've got two cameras pointed at the board, okay. one that's sort of top down and one that's closer to the action. I think that'll be better in some of the, um, especially in like Fireball Island and things like that where you can't see both sides, both sides of the island. And in some of the proper board games where they're not cards, where we're moving pieces around so you can see the action from two different two different angles. But it was a good game to test out the gear. And it's a good game because we played it a couple times now, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So ready to I give it a score? I helped you. You too. <laughs> yeah, too. Right. So again, um, you got to make sure that you follow the directions on the card. Um, the action cards may be optional. I'm going to look that up. Uh, if the last card you have in your hand, do you have to play it? Oh, you could either play or discard. You could have discarded it, so you didn't have to win. So you actually won that then, Thomas. 
Okay. I yeah, you did good. Um, you could have discarded it because you can play a card, you draw a card, you play a card, or you discard a card. So you draw a card every turn, then you play or discard a card. And uh, that's it. So what are you going to give it, Gus? What's the score? Um, two. 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 How about you, Thomas? Two. Two? And pointed at your direction. Well, I'm already, our camera's already pointed at me, so yeah, I, I'm going to. need to close up. Now I'm going to give it a. <laughs> two. So six. <laughs> six tacos. I'm sorry, cabbages. Yeah? Should, should it be tacos or burritos for, for our next, for our future for taco burritos? It's a good question. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll mix it up. But six. Out of nine, uh, and that's a pretty good game. Now, All right. No, I mean I give it two brown cabbages. Two brown cabbages. Mm. <laughs> um, well, that is brown lettuce, so that's uh, all right. That's in theme. Uh, anything else before we wrap it up? Nope. All right. All right. Are you ready to do the outro? Subscribe, like, hit that bell. Sorry, leave a comment if you wish. Then two cabbages. Not a stick. Two cabbages. Because we have been in your crib for far too long. No. Oh. You didn't get stomach. You get tummy aches. Oh. And real brown. And brown. <laughs> awesome. All right. See you next time. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye.